Well, hello, and welcome to the Points of Interest podcast. I forgot the whole intro of the, of the whole show there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, this is the most generic podcast on the internet. My name is Josh Hawks. I am the 303 Ninja, and right over there, he is my podcasting partner for life. He is the other guy. It's Mr. Francis Fernandez. It's been seven years since we've done a show. She, I mean, so like, you so wouldn't long. think 14 days would be. Would destroy the the rhythm you know like it's a long time though 14 days i didn't mean to I just kind of i mean i'm glad it happened in front of you and instead of like some like celebrity or something although there was that one time we did interview that one guy on the, the show floor someplace and i couldn't think of a question and just st- stood there puzzled in my face waiting for something to come up and you're like on the other side of the camera going the look on your face was like you're embarrassing me please speak (laughs) (laughs) well again that's why you're in front of the camera that's why you get the hard job and i get the easy job of just holding the camera and filming i don't want the i don't want the responsibility having having to ask questions i don't want that kind of responsibility so i'm glad you have it well, thanks. But uh, uh, hello to our newest follower, Jay Head Nine. We're so Jed. When we were gone, Jed Nine yeah. uh, six days ago. So thanks a lot. Yes, yes, thank you. Um, we always like everybody that comes and hangs out with us. So tell your friends. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's gonna, been going on, man? Gonna, uh, you know, um, it's it has been a week. The week that we weren't here, uh, San Diego Comic Con happened. We weren't there. That's not to not to, you know, no. think, not to think that we weren't we weren't live because we were at Comic Con. No, we weren't there at all. Well, I wasn't. I don't know. I can't speak for Francis. He lives in that, you know, region of the world. I mean, yeah. No, uh, I did not get a chance to go. It's your boy, San Diego. It's your boys, uh, San Diego, San Diego. Uh, you know, one day we'll get to, we'll get to reenact the It's Your Boys intro. I mean, honestly, one of my favorite gimmicks that we did over in San Diego that one time. Uh, I, I um, think that my favorite gimmick you've ever done, period, uh, at, at any of our, our recordings of anything on the floor anywhere is you walking a perimeter around me and the camera so every time you're in in view of the camera you have this stupid shit eating grin on your face i mean you're having a great time and i think it's hilarious but it's like every time oh, you're on the yeah. every time you're walking around let's say i'm you know selfie sticking it and you go around it's 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 funny because like i'm like oh god what's he gonna do next <laughs> And then there you are walking behind me no, I, yeah I, I, that was a fun thing we did for like a year yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, I would just be in the background looking somewhere, but still being part of the picture while you were taking pictures or doing yeah. video or whatever. I'd just be back there while you did your while you did your work, while you did the hard yeah, work. Well, and you know. I got to do the easy stuff. Yeah, like be So thank you for that. Like be an extra over and over again. Well, I, I, I was lamenting to somebody recently how we need to go back because for the last post COVID um, big studios were refusing to go to San Diego, so well, the big interviews that we can uh, talk our way into were not there for three to four years. Now it's true. back this year, and I'm like, we need to go back because our guerrilla podcasting is needed. Yes, on the floor of yes. San Diego Comic Con. Also, uh, while watching some of the Hall H things that were happening. And they had the nice wide shot of the whole stage. And you you see all the rows facing the stage. Then you see a group of assholes off to the right side looking perpendicular to everywhere, to where everybody else is looking. And I went, oh, I miss being in that asshole cage. (laughs) 
It's not the it's the photo cage, but yeah, the it's for all cage. the press people and yeah. That's fun though. I like the press cage because it's it's really it's funny. It's funny. It, it that is funny because it it's, it's funny that yeah. I mean, I, our my first experience, one of my first experiences in there anyway, was that Doctor Who panel where they where they uh, introduced the lady doctor. And the, they were showing all the fan. We've talked about yeah. this before on here, but they were showing all the fan responses yes. on their little jumbotron, and the editing and the music. And I looked over at you. I got a tear running down my eye, and I'm like, I don't even like Doctor Who. Why the fuck am I crying? <laughs> like this is good editing. Because that's how they <laughs> Hall H. That's that's like the point of Hall H is to like really build those emotions and like yeah. get you excited about that stuff. So. No, I hope I hope uh, I hope we can find a way back in. Um, I I know that our current um, our current way in no, is no longer interested um, in it. Uh, but I'm I think I still am. I mean, after after this year, I think I'm back to being like, yeah, I'd like to do that if if I if I could um, hang out with our Hawaiian friend who seems to be going to in- industry parties afterwards. Mm. Thing, a thing you and I have been trying to do for years, and of course, she just gets in because she's her. Um, but, yeah. well, I mean, I mean, uh, all I'm saying, all I'm saying, you know, sometimes, sometimes it's okay to fucking, you know, slip under coattails, and then you know, once you're inside, right, then you, then you you become rememberable for good reasons, and then you don't have to worry about it next time i i hate to say this because i and i'll i'll put up I'll, I'll say it here just because i think it's funny but it's interesting to watch someone live life on easy mode like it's really interesting to <laughs> just like witness someone living life with all cheats on like mm. oh, okay oh i see this and we know this because that this person of whom will be uh moderately kayfabe protected um just posts about like all of the things that they just effortlessly get done oh i have this new thing that just came out of my stuff here it is yeah <laughs> like, okay good for you yeah like oh i i, I, I kickstarted to get a book you know to get, uh, i flip-flop between between these two amazing cities to live in and yeah. and then and yeah. then and yeah. you know every once in a while I hop and skip over here and there. Yeah, it's Strong. it's interesting. It's interesting that the, someone. I mean, we're we're protecting a lot of you know, people. Are like who the fuck? Doesn't matter. But that's a person that's fairly young. I mean, barely in their thirties, mid thirties at tops. Has done. Barely. Has done. Yeah, animation has worked for major businesses major corporations some with colorful Ma- colorful uh uh logos you know for primary yeah. colors and stuff and you know places that make your dreams come true <laughs> met, met celebrities just random like just it just doing what they do. Yeah. Like, may or may not have been person again, at Disney. Just... I don't know. You know. <laughs> oh, now. <laughs> um, well, I mean, that gives it away more, but whatever. It's fine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, uh, like that's, it's, I mean, it, it, it's interesting. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. It is. Um, it is. But, but anyway, th- I mean, there, I there's, there, there's gotta be something there that we're not seeing. As the case with a lot of things, well, but at the two rules for for uh, the two Reddit rules for successful dating applies here as well. Be attractive, don't be unattractive. Those are the two rules, and this person encompasses and is charismatic, right? Like mm. this person is very charismatic. Talks to people like it's like breathing, mm-hmm. you know. Um. I mean, we talk to this person, and it's just like, okay, hi. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, but at the same time, I'm, you know, I because 
I'm I'm a I'm a nerd. I'm I'm a weave or whatever. Like pretty pretty girls fucking make me nervous and I can't talk. Then like someone that's super friendly. Not that I confuse anything because I don't. But I'm like, why are you so friendly to me and and my friend? Like you don't even. You were an ancillary character in a in a thing and not like we're making it sound like there's something we're trying to be vague you're just an ancillary character to a side character that we weren't even really you know it's just kind of i don't know it's just weird yeah to, if, to if be a ever, friend you know, to be about to be friendly with someone who is in a a partnership with the person that we're talking about and then somehow we become more friends with this person than we are currently with the person that introduced us. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's confusing and it's vague and it's backwards yeah. baseball or whatever. And people are going, this well, isn't interesting, the, but whatever. I, yeah. Sorry guys. The last thing I'll say is just, you know, um, people talk about main character syndrome and how people like think they're the main character in in like life. Um, this person, I think, is fairly close to being an actual real main character. <laughs> <laughs> this is all I'm saying. Like, just the kind of life they lead is just like, okay, okay, like I get you. Well, but anyway, you know, speaking of which, Francis, uh, yeah. someone else that yeah. does totally encompass that very you know vibe you just threw out there yes. is the dude they cast. For Doctor Doom, oh, we're, we're bringing back Robert Downey Jr. from yeah. his his role as Iron Man for the you know last hundred years, and uh, yeah, a- apparently we're getting a heel turn. Let's throw some wrestling terms out there. We're getting a heel turn, and the the guy that with Tony Stark's face is going to be Doctor Doom. Right now, yes. I mean, it's too early to tell what's going on, but I know that there was not being a big comic book reader. Admittedly, we've talked about this a million times, but I kind of keep up with stories. I hear things. I might, you know, Wikipedia or, you know, YouTube, a story arc here and there. But I do know that there is a, a story where either there was a mind swap between Doom and Stark or... Like maybe a what if where Doom was in Iron Man armor and Stark was in Doom armor. I'm not sure which one it was. But um, I think that might be... I think we're getting an alternate universe Tony Stark. Well, he's not going to be Tony. Maybe he changes his name to Victor Von Doom. I don't know. But... Apparently he does, yeah. Apparently uh, the... That that's what they're saying is this, his name will be Victor Von Doom. Yeah, well, I mean that that's Doctor Doom's name, but you know yeah. how are we getting there with the face of Tony Stark? That's that's the thing where All I'm, I know. That's where I'm just kind of like I'm confused. Well, I I trust I trust whatever they're they're doing. The I mean they are. Um, going to spend all of the money on the Russo brothers and uh, Robert Downey Jr. So they're all getting all of the money <laughs> to to make this, these movies. Because he's going to be in the two of them. He's going to be in mm-hmm. Doomsday and Secret Wars. So, Which... You know, it's going to be a big deal. I think it will be a big deal. Um, me, again, not being the big comic aficionado of the group here... Um, got hella confused when I heard the announcement of Secret Wars because in my dumb brain, I thought back to the f- few books that I've read and I went, wait a second, that that Secret Wars arc is heavily, uh, Deadpool has a lot to do with it and this Deadpool movie's coming out now. So maybe there'll be a lot of tie into this and what I was thinking was the invasion of, of scrolls, which was secret invasion. 
which they made oh, a TV yeah, show about know. apparently, and it sucked. I didn't watch it. Um, yeah, but the books, the books all talk about like you find out most of your favorite uh, superheroes have all been scrolls the entire time, and Deadpool comes by and tries to kill a whole lot of them, and then gets employed by the scrolls and goes off on a whole other different story. But I got right. to, I got confused. I got really ex- excited. And then really confused shortly after. So I was like, let me, let me look up the Secret Wars and make sure I'm thinking what I'm thinking is right. And then as soon as they started talking about it, I was like, no, no, I don't I don't know any of, anything about any of this. This doesn't sound as interesting. I mean, it's going to be, but. It doesn't, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I trust again. I, I, the, with the money they're putting into it, I trust I mean, we're getting Red Hulk. That. <laughs> Did you see? There was an interview with Harrison Ford, and he's like, "You just have to not. You just have to not care while they give you a bunch of money. That's how you. Are, that's how you play the Red Hulk." <sighs> yeah, that's not. That's not him acting. That's that's Harrison Ford. Remember that movie? Yeah, he's he's. What was the movie where he was? Uh, Which one? Uh, Henry? Was that the name of the movie? Henry. I think it was Henry. He had like amnesia or some shit. I don't remember. I, I think that was there's I a line there's a line about. he speaks in the movie where he's just like, I wanna go home. I don't think he was acting. I think he just he was fed up and he just wanted oh. to go home, Harrison Ford, not the not the character. Right. And that's just yeah, no, I mean that's just yeah. kinda how he how he does things. I mean, I'm not saying he's a bad actor. Didn't say that. I'm just saying. He's just kind of... Yeah. Eh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He... he if, you, if you put money... If you give him money, he'll be happy to act the fool. He'll yeah. be happy to do whatever you tell him to do. Just don't expect him to get dressed up, right? Like he, like, um, he, he, like he showed up on Star Wars in like a t-shirt and jeans for his one scene in the, in right. the last movie or like when he was in a uh, the last blade runner right with with ryan gosling he ca- he again was like in a wife beater and like you know a pair of like running shorts yeah he probably yeah. just showed up on yeah. set he's like i'm here to do my scene yeah where's my money okay i'll say these lines <laughs> what are the lines okay yeah uh. It doesn't care. Put them on a whiteboard, tie them around someone's neck that's facing me so I can read them. Callista, Callista wants a new car. Tell me what I got to say. Uh, st- that's his wife. Callista. <laughs> Flockhart? Is that, is that right? Isn't that what? Yeah, that's the Flockhart. Huh. Wasn't she like the lady? She's Ally McBeal. Yeah. Yeah. She's the wife of she's the wife of uh, of Harrison Ford for like the last I don't know twenty years or something. Huh. I don't keep up on that kind of shit. And they're like thirty years difference in age, so good for them. I, I, I'm not gonna comment because you know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's yeah. <laughs> Anyway, oh, anyway, yeah. So there you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, Secret Invasion and uh, the other one, yeah, Doomsday. Secret so, War- Doomsday and Secret Wars, yeah. Secret Wars, yeah. Secret Invasion. That already happened. It sucked. Um, apparently. Uh, but uh, what else came out of San Diego that you heard? Uh, that's really. What else did they? Because that kind of took over. That, that took I... over the news. Like for the whole weekend, this you know the the, the second part, the later part of the weekend, not the second weekend, but uh, the well, all anyone cared about was the Robert Downey Jr. News. Mm-hmm. Like nobody really cared about anything else that was like. I mean, they had the big um, drone show, which was funny. Like they had the drone, the big Marvel drone show. Yeah, hey, Ginger's here. Um, yeah, that was that was really cool because they were t- heavily teasing uh, Fantastic Four. Oh yeah, they tied they gave the title for Fantastic Four. Yeah. I think uh, I think Galactus steps. 
showed up. They showed the face of Galactus. Yeah, they 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 showed the the face and they showed. <laughs> he showed, oh, uh, the new Captain America stuff. They showed that mm-hmm. they, 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 they had, as we're talking about Harrison Ford, whatever. They showed all the, the Captain America stuff, but it's all Marvel. Like nothing else mm-hmm, has been mm-hmm. really like they haven't done anything else. Like what else is out there? What other? News well, the other thing that there? happened, which I now I wish even more that we were there uh, when I was starting to find out about mm-hmm. it. But uh, AEW had people there. They had panels there, and apparently. You know, back where they had like the Adult Swim stuff back when we were there, the, like the backyard, if you yeah. will, of the of the of the Comic Con. They set up an outdoor wrestling ring, and did AEW mm. versus Adult Swim. Oh. So they had wrestlers oh, dress wow. up as Carl or. But what's the what's the the. The character, the Aqua Teen Hunger Force. It was like season one where they were the Moon Knights. Uh, okay. Where they're, they're just the pixel, the little pixel, you know, looking creatures. But they, what they did to represent them is just have somebody, okay. you know, come out in a little, you know, green or red or pink. I can't remember what the other color guy was. I can't remember what the, either one of their colors are, to be honest with you, but came out in like this little pixelated type of bodysuit and you know, did things, did wrestling okay. moves. Okay. It would have been fun to see. It just would have been fun to see because it's wrestling. I would have, uh, sure. I mean, I, it's funny because wrestling is really inundating everything lately. Um, I play, I play Call of Duty with some people, and um, it's all wrestling. Yeah, for some there's, reason there's, there's wrestlers in it. Wrestling, yeah. you can get the skins of wrestlers to. That you don't even you get to the be you get to look like a wrestler while playing the game a first person game makes a lot of sense. Well, you do. So there's a, there's these special moves that you can do if you attack someone from behind, and for the Giddy. wrestlers you get especially special wrestling moves mm-hmm. that you get to like do on them like genuine stuff that you've seen on 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 TV. So that's kind of fun. Genuine. And that goes ding, to third person, so you get to see their bodies do the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know. So you get to see it. You get to see it. I, I almost did a wrestling not, move yeah. on somebody at my work, and they actually, someone actually had to tell me to to uh, not do the wrestling move I was getting ready to do. Did you do? Did you wrestle when you were like a teenager with your friends and almost kill them accidentally? Uh, everything up to the accidentally part. No, um, my my. <laughs> <laughs> My my brother and I would wrestle around a lot, and we were both big wrestling fans as kids. And then uh, I was in middle school when I went to like my first season of, of you know young youth wrestling, and I showed up oh. with a three by five card of all the wrestling moves I wanted to learn, and they were like, "No, that's." It's not what we do here. And I'm like, yeah, but it's wrestling. Like, no, this is, that's pro wrestling. This is real wrestling. I said, I understand that. But that, all those moves come from real wrestling. So here are the moves I want to move. I want to learn. What, are, what is the real wrestling equivalent of these? <laughs> I bet there isn't one, I bet, right? There isn't. There, there is no, it's most there is no, you know, Greco-Roman wrestling move for a moonsault. <laughs> it's mostly just pushing people out of a circle. Like that's that's, what, well, that's sumo. Like, I mean, that is a way no, to no, score. Regular wrestling. Yeah, you can score a yeah. point that way, but, you know, that's, yeah. that's not how you want to score a point. No, no, you want to do it by submission or whatever, by, by pin. whatever it is that they, you have to do. Yeah, Typically by pin or po- It's pin and, I mean... Pinning Pin. people, you get points, but you get points for a takedown. You get points for defending. It's, I don't understand the point system. I just, I was kind of like Mongo. I just kind of was like, all right, I'm going out there to kick the shit out of people. And I did my best to yeah. kick the shit out of people. All right. Well, I did okay. You know. Okay. I was just curious because I, I know that, that young people have a tendency to, to do wrestling as a thing. Right, 
on their couches or in the, oh. you know. My, I mean, my friends whatever. and I would wrestle around a bit, for sure. Mm. Um, nothing really got it's broke. Cool. I mean, sometimes, you know, people get kicked in the nuts or something like that, or not purposely. I do like that you knew that Call of Duty was doing wrestling as a thing. Over there. I mean, when you're a wrestling like, fan like and you're watching that. the wrestling the wrestling show and they go to the commercial and they're like, oh, they, if they you want to spend extra money to look like Cody Rhodes, well, he's available. You want to look like Becky Lynch, well, you can. You want to look, I don't know who else is in there. There's only two I know. If you want to look like I, Seth I don't know Rollins, anybody. I know he's in there too now. Now that I'm thinking about it. I'm like, okay, I don't know why you'd want to, why wouldn't you just get WWE 2K4 if you want to look like a wrestler? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, the, I guess they're promoting WrestleMania, maybe, I think. Uh, SummerSlam just happened this or past weekend. Maybe SummerSlam. They're they're promoting one of the wrestling events. I know yeah. that I, they had. It, it's been advertised. I just don't pay attention to it because I don't. I just it, yeah, it's it's an EA game, so I don't pay any attention to it at all. But, um, and it's uh, maybe those games would be fun if it was more. And I know they have a team versus team. I mean, that's basically all people play COD for. But yeah, I, yeah, I do, yeah. Uh, if but within those teams, it, there's no team element at all, unless you play with friends. No. Yes. And yes. sometimes your friends don't all want to get together and play. Whatever. Well, and there's game. they're also, it's also really. I like that the teams that they make are meant to like really, just annoy. They're like meant to annoy people. Hmm. And I only bring this up. We're not going any. We're not going political. I'm just bringing this up. No one get all crazy over this. But a lot of pe people in Call of Duty, you, you can you, you get you can be part of what are what are called clans. They all have the same name in your clan, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you be able, and it's it's a it's a five letter word. That's a, as big as the word you can use for your clan name. So people spell out the word Trump for all of their, for most of the clans. So a lot of clans out there, just they're Trump and then the name. And it's just like really kind of funny that that's like how they rile people up because they know. Well, it's also, yeah, I was going to say, it's also you know, a great way to get under people's skin is just to have a screen name yeah. that, that annoys somebody. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so, but it, that's what, that's, I find it funny just because it's like, yeah, I'm not going to get mad just because, because you don't, I know you don't care. You're just doing that to make people. Angry. I mean, it, you don't act like it. Uh, on one hand, it, it's stupid that, you know, it is. It's uh, the, the political yeah. beliefs would divide people so much at the same time. Yeah, I get it. I guess I get it. I guess, I, guess, if, totally I, guess, I guess, and it works on both sides. If people aren't willing to fucking, you know, look over the fucking fence at whatever their uh, opposition is and, you know, try to listen or see, then I think it doesn't matter how right you think you are. I'm not speaking politically, but like, you know, whatever your beliefs right. are, whatever stance, whatever hill you fucking stand on, if you refuse to look and listen to the other side, then you're just as close-minded as the people you think that are on the other side of the fence as you. There you go. I think. I mean, I'm not... I have no it's political stance. Sure it is. Yeah, sure. But that's what gets people to listen. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's it's roads of two thousand. Roads of two thousand. Let me hit the button. Um, there it is. Uh, no, I just I just think that you know, like, yeah, I mean, you, it's just it, being closed minded to anything is being not 
f- fulfilling your potential or something. I don't know. I, I know what you mean. I just find it. I, I, I'm I, not I, the I words. It, I, I Maybe it. the words aren't right, but I'm glad you understand what I'm trying to no, say. No, no, no. The words, the words, the, the words are right. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's just it's it's something that um, I think people are afraid to talk about anyway in general. So good on you to be able to, to like speak up about that because yeah it's not a very pc thing to well i shouldn't say pc it's just not a thing that people are are very excited to hear sometimes so Mm. well people are a lot of people are set in their ways and i understand yeah well that's part of the problem isn't it (laughs) Uh yeah. You yeah, could be set you could you could be set in your ways with fucking Thanksgiving fucking you know Christmas festivities or something. But like in all areas of life you should be open minded. Nah, I can't eat anything. I mean like it's Thanksgiving food specifically. I wasn't talking about the food, man. I'm talking about like the festivity. Like you celebrate whatever you want. However you want, you know. Like I don't know. Like, oh. <laughs> you know, like I was like, like oh, tra- yeah. I'm talking about like oh, you know, yeah, like you get keeping things the same, right? You, whatever Thanksgiving, yeah, keep yeah. it the same. Christmas, keep it the same. Whatever, like how are you? You as a family, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you better not fucking update whatever thing said it was gonna about to do an update. It better not. Um, like it, just because that's how you've done it doesn't mean that that's how it always has to be. That's true. For and and you know, just as a an aside, um, I watched an episode of Steve nineteen eighty nine. Mm. Look at this continuity from yeah, the last episode. From the last episode from two weeks ago, uh, he made his own Thanksgiving dinner, and then proceeded to freeze dry it, put it, pack it up like an MRE. Open it, <laughs> rehydrate all the food, and then eat it. So he put all of the work to make the food, dehydrate it, mm-hmm. bag it up, seal it, open it, and then eat it. So all that work I, in one as episode. As soon as we're done like, with this, I'm finding that episode. It's a good episode. It's like it's it's, it's one of his longer ones because he, he he talks about the process of having sure to with all the work. That's fair. That's fair. But you know what yeah. else do I got to do? And spoiler alert! Just because it's amazing. Not only does he not finish his meal, he goes the next day and reheats all the food again on camera to eat it as leftovers <laughs> from the from the night before when he did, did everything. It's incredible. It's one of it's one of his best episodes. It's I'm really good. I'm gonna watch that because that's awesome. There's a there's a guy we should have on here. He'd be a fun to talk to. You. Like what? I, first of I all, that guy. first of all, why? <laughs> that would be my question. He, Just why? He wanted to see if he could do it. I think. I think that was his reasoning. It was like I want to see if I can do it. I mean, and, put, and get it all into a tray. No, put it all into a tray. Oh God, that was I the fucking it. answer. <laughs> Uh, maybe we can maybe we can get our people, which is me, to work and find their people, which is probably just him. But you know, <laughs> let's see. Maybe well, we can make hey, it happen. Maybe we can make it happen. You know, I used to be a network. You could technically expand points of interest again if you really wanted to hmm. do it. I in you. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll see. Um, I guess that's everything of fucking San Diego. Uh, cause yeah, yeah it's basically just Doctor were... Doom, and that yeah, was. What else did they talk about? Do you know? I don't know. I'm trying to think of what they talked about, and I'm like, I don't care about that. Anything. That really, I mean, everything else that came across the feed all weekend was a lot of pictures, a lot, of, a lot of pictures of cosplay, a lot of people having a good time. But I didn't see, you know, big announcement from this company or that company it was just marvel no marvel had the, all the biggest stuff even dc i know dc was there but they didn't 
maybe they showed the Joker 2 trailer. That was like the big thing. Mm. But outside of that, oh, uh, the the I feel bad for the people who went to San Diego and went to the Deadpool panel because I don't know if you were, you saw, but in the Deadpool panel, it was all of the guest cameos. Oh, shit, really? And, yeah, it was all the guest cameos that were in the movie. They were there on stage with, with um, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. And it it was the Friday that the movie came out. Mm. And they brought them all out that Friday. It might even be Friday or Saturday, but it was the weekend that the movie came out. And they're like, here's all of the surprises. That's that would suck. I that I probably wouldn't have wanted to go to that one anyway. But that no. would have sucked. Because like, none of them went to see the movie because they were too busy doing San Diego Comic Con. Right. Makes so sense. So it's like you ruined it for a bunch of people who didn't get a chance to see the movie. Like, good job, guys. Uh, well, now we're gonna ruin it because um, we're gonna talk about it. Um, I can ruin it. It's been a week. It's been. A week and a half. It's been a week and a half, so you know what? It's time to talk about it. Um, I don't really have a whole lot to talk about it, really. Um, it was it was a great movie, fun cameos. Right? It, you know what, Francis? Deadpool and Wolverine versus Wolverine. Deadpool and Wolverine. And and Wolverine uh, is a love letter, a swan song. Uh, a, a a serenade to the Fox Marvel universe. That was really nice and cheesy. In the good way, though. Yeah, yeah. They use, they, they play the song Good Riddance, Time of Your Life by Green Day. And they show a bunch of behind the scenes of like all of the Fox mm -hmm. uh, Marvel properties. Yeah, not um, just it is Wolverine. Kind of it was there was X Men stuff in there. Fantastic oh. Four, yeah. um, Deadpool, Blade, um, Blade. Well, Bla well, uh, Daredevil, Elektra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like everything. Yeah, it, it was great. Um, it was great. It was good. I know. I loved it. I saw it twice. Really good. Um, first night was better than the second one, only because I think second time I saw it, it's been a week, so it's a bunch of repeat viewers. Mm -hmm. So the the surprises weren't as surprising. Like people didn't react. Yeah, did, people didn't react like they did for the first time. I, everyone was cheering the first time. Everyone mm -hmm. was watching. I guess we're gonna. I guess we'll, we'll avoid. I don't know. It's up to. You. I'll, I'll I'll see how Josh takes it, but. Um, all of the cameos, like people would cheer. Like there's, like there's pauses in the movie that l allows for the audience to cheer. There's pauses. In the oh movie yeah, that yeah. There's definitely, there, yeah. They take beats for sure. Yeah, I, I can think yeah. of one fourth wall break in particular that was. I mean, there's a beat built into it, purposely. Yeah. Um. But well, the, well, it's probably not this one. But my favorite fourth wall break was the proposal. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't think that's a that's a that's a uh, a spoiler because who knows what that means, right? Right. Uh, but except yeah, for its fourth like, wall break, uh, it's a fourth wall break, and that's it, to me that was like one of the funniest things in the movie. The the uh, one thing I will say though before we go on, the the one thing I wish they would have executed, exercised, tried, attempted, whatever with with on screen Deadpool is the other voices in his head. They never did that, though. They Not never even did. In the first That's what I'm saying. The first they never did it. I wish that was something they, they had explored. They could have all been Ryan Reynolds' voice, you know, in different pitches or tones or whatever. Right. Different deliveries. But I think that would have... I think, I think it could have worked, is all I'm saying. Yeah, no, I agree. It could have worked, yeah. Um, but, you know, they only have so much time. That's true. You know, they, they only have so much time. They only do so much. I get it. I get that, like, this is what we have as a movie. This mm -hmm. is all we, this is, this is what we have as a character. 
let's just stick with what we got. Yeah. No, I'm uh, I'm and I'm on board. I love all three of these movies. It's just something that yeah. as as a as a Deadpool comic reading fan, it's just something mm-hmm. I wish that you know they could have done. Is all. Yeah. But um overall though, uh I've been watching a lot of um uh, reactions to the trailer, mm. <laughs> like to the when they were when because there was an I forgot there was an announcement trailer right so when they announced it last year it was just Ryan Reynolds saying I have no idea how to do Deadpool three I don't know what I'm gonna do except we have one idea and then Hugh Jackman walks in the background mm-hmm. it's like you want to play Wolverine one more time so and 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 people lost their minds so I'm like okay so. This is they lie. So they, it's a bunch of lies throughout the whole um, lead up to mm, this. Mm-hmm. No, they, they don't talk. You know, but but that's what's great. A lot of misdirection uh, for people who may have paid attention. To all of like the the hype stuff that came before it. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, I appreciate that. But yeah, overall, yeah, no, I I think. Um, uh, I think that uh, it's worth seeing more than once because you want to catch the cameos, you want to catch the Easter eggs. Mm-hmm. Uh, Plenty of one. them. Plenty of them. It's uh, almost all Easter eggs. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Essentially, but you want to you want to catch all the Easter eggs. You want to catch all the cameos, like, and then the credits because then there's a bunch of masked characters. Who's just voiced? Mm-hmm. And you're like, who's the voice of that guy? And it's like, oh, oh you'd be surprised. Some voices they got. I'm Matthew like, wow. McConaughey. I think Nathan yeah, Fillion. Yeah. I think I saw. Yeah. Um, yeah. Those are the only two that pop off the top of my head because I was chit chatting with my with my lady about the movie that we just watched. Um, yeah. Definitely. I mean, she had anything that dealt with that dog was her favorite part of the movie. I mean, she don't get me wrong. She's not just a you know a dog person. I mean, she gets the puns. She gets all the jokes. She gets all that stuff. I mean, we've been shooting one-liners back and forth all week to each other. Um, but I don't know. For me, the best part of the movie was Blade. Oh, yeah, yeah. I best agree. part. Best um, part of the movie. Like. Yeah, I, I without saying too much. I mean, yeah, he's in the movie. We've already said actually everybody that's in the movie, <laughs> um, but uh, more or less, more or less. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it amazes me after thirty years, thirty plus years in the film action movies, mostly that Wesley Snipes still has the best one-liners in all of cinema. Yeah. Especially since the rumor was he and Ryan Reynolds did not get along during the third. It apparently movie. didn't at all, but I think it's awesome that they acknowledge the off-screen tension in the movie. Well... Uh, it's a, a it's a it's a throwaway like, line. It's a total throwaway line. But if you know, you're like, oh shit, that's cool. There's a lot of lines in there where if you don't know the backstory, there is a lot of like you have to do your research, mm-hmm. right? Like there's a line where, um, I, yeah, I guess we're spo- if you haven't seen it, sorry, but if you have, you'll understand. So like, they mentioned that Deadpool died, and. Uh, Deadpool has, sends it, like says, oh, "I'm sorry to Electra." And she's like, "Ah, it's fine," because they had a mess. You know, she had been, Daredevil like, had a messy divorce. Daredevil like, died. Yeah, because she used it. Yeah, no, oh, Daredevil died. What did I say? Deadpool. Um, oh, Deadpool. Sorry, da- Daredevil died. Yeah. yeah. So that was that was a nice little joke. She, he also mentions that uh, Hugh Jackman uh, put on some weight because he also recently got divorced, mm, which yeah. actually really happened. Which that that was no. the coldest so like, line in the entire movie, I think. Like, well, people were man, like, man, why'd you stupid. why'd you have to be so real? <laughs> Especially since it happened during the filming of this movie, so like, 
that was pretty fresh. Yeah. I guess they're like, whatever. <laughs> uh, that's fine. We're gonna make millions of dollars. It'll be fine. I can afford a therapist. Well, they're already they're gonna hit one and a half billion. I think. Mm. One and a half billion is probably gonna be, which is the, I mean, it's already one of the highest grossing movies of all time, and it's rated R. Yeah. That's like the thing that people like forget. It's like it's rated R, which means it has a whole other category into itself, and it's beating regular movies. I think fuck is said 130 plus times. Yeah, most times said in a movie. And what's funny is I didn't even notice. I didn't either. They say it so naturally. Like, it's such a normal part of, of Hugh and um, Ryan's kind of, like, speaking. Yeah. Just that the, I'm just like, I never... I, I, this, the whole time I'm watching this movie, I'm like... Why didn't we get this? Why didn't we get this 20 years ago? You know, instead of this, you know, sword wielding, you know, just machine mouth talking smart ass guy that is dressed in red and black, but isn't Deadpool, but is supposed to be Deadpool. And then later, the same actor is in a Blade movie. And they make up this character named Hannibal King. But then they say, read all these books and throw him a bunch of Deadpool comics and say, play him, but your name's Hannibal King. I mean, he got it. He, well, it Ryan Reynolds is the reason why Deadpool oh, yeah. exists anyway. Well, yeah, he yeah. did do it out there. You know, he did. Do the, he did do the animatic that, that started it all. See, that's, the, the, that's the best part. No, it gets better than that, Francis, is that he got Disney to do that for him, and then he leaked it. Or yeah, did, not Disney, or some an, some yeah, animation I, studio. Either way, yeah. I mean, he paid for it, but then he leaked it, or the, he had the studio pay for it. But then Ryan Reynolds is the one who leaked it. Ryan Reynolds is the one who leaked the the script, yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever it was the the, the story the yeah. the overarching what do you yeah, storyboard what, yeah. storyboard thing yeah like it's it's, it's genius genius marketing yeah. so, so yes go see good it on your Ryan Reynolds yes hopefully we get more of it just because it's a fun character he clearly loves playing the character. I don't know if Hugh's up to doing it anymore, but damn it, it would be fun if he was. He because is. Oh, he, he, he After this, I, I can tell. This movie, he's revitalized to want to do it again. Like, he's... Uh, the, the rumor is he's going to be big in the next two Avengers movies. Like, uh, Hugh is going to be big for those two movies. And hopefully he'll pass it on to to uh, Daphne Keen who plays X-23. The, the girl, oh, and... and, uh, and we'll just pass it on to her. No, oh, I guess we won't. No, we'll leave that one up for people to watch. There's the, the one Wolverine reveal. Oh, that's another one. Yeah, we, that, we, we, I mean, you've already mentioned one. all the other ones. But yeah, but that one, every, everybody... Nah, let's leave that one. Okay. Because I didn't know. So, I didn't know that. I didn't know that dude was even in the movie. I knew, kind of knew about the other ones. It's great. Um, yeah. But yeah. Uh, but hopefully, but, you know, either one, one or the other, even though that actor is already, like, hitting late 40s, early 50s, maybe, I think. Maybe. Oh, maybe that's Hugh Jackman, actually. I think Hugh Jackman. No, he's in his 60s. No way. I think, he's, I think he's in his early 60s. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. It looks, it looks amazing. Um, and uh, shout out to Ryan Reynolds continuing to use weird music as like act like action set piece. Fifty five. Oh, fifty five. That's not bad. Wait, uh, Ryan. Reynolds. Yeah, no, Ryan Reynolds is, is very hubba hubba. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Hugh is Hugh's is five. Yeah, he's yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I think um, the other actor is like in his forties, so he's not that that old. Yeah, he, he's yeah, I he's know. I'd say late forties. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. No, not Ryan Reynolds. The other one, the one that oh. we refused to say his name. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, just because you know, because that was yeah. of all of them, that was like oh shit. 
That, that was one. the biggest surprise. That yeah, that one was the one that people were like, "What?" Yeah, but very very fun. Probably one the best the best cameo. Yeah, for sure. Because I, the, the one I had no no idea about. The thing I saw before the movie came out was a more or less like a gigantic poster of all the movies you need to watch before you watch Deadpool and Wolverine. And in this 25, you know, uh, movie posters, you know, that showed all the movies that you should watch, Howard the Duck was, was part of this list. So when I saw that, I was like, are we getting a Howard the Duck cameo too? No, we didn't. They there may be in some well, kind of reference. Been... I know he he did in in, in Guardians Guardians of the Galaxy. Um and in Avengers, uh in game. Yeah. But yeah. when I saw this, that that cuz I tried not to look at this thing cuz I did, I tried to avoid spoilers. But Howard the Duck yeah. stood out to me. So I really thought we were going to get Howard the Duck in this movie. It, that movie may have been referenced or it was just somebody putting out every Marvel, you know, somehow Marvel connected movie together on one post and said, here, watch all of these. It would have fun. It would have been fun if Leah Tom- Thompson was like there somewhere, <laughs> you know? Just like, oh, sure. Like, you can tell what she, like, if she was representing Back to the Future. (laughs) Unless she was was with Howard. Yeah, but they already made Howard animated. It would have been better if we had the puppet duck. I would have liked the puppet duck. You need to go back and watch that movie. I used to love it as a kid, which probably says something about me. Um,. What else we got on the little list here, Francis? Oh, the Olympics. The Olympics are happening. They're finishing up, actually, I guess, this week. Um, By the time this comes out, it'll be done. But they've been happening. And they've been... It's been rather interesting, this one. Every every Olympic Games seems to have its controversies. You know, and people people getting drug tested or, or... what have you this year has been the track and field stuff. Apparently they, they have a, uh, no, it's black and white. If you false start, you don't even get to compete. And there is, uh, now I'm not going to remember the country in which this runner was from, but didn't even get to run in the Olympics because he false started, uh, then pleaded and pleaded and pleaded. And they just said, Nope, you're out. Um, what else did I write down on here? That was interesting. Um, boxers that may or may not be the gender in which they entered the boxing match for. I don't know. Oh, wow. This is just, on, this is just stuff I saw. Your this is just kind of stuff I saw. I'm like, Oh, that's, I mean, okay. that, that, that's a, that's a new one. You don't, you haven't heard that one before. I mean, right. to my knowledge anyway. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised that made it here. That's really funny. Oh, whether or not a Turkish shooter is actually a, an assassin or mercenary. So okay, so I didn't see much. There's two things I saw, or three things I saw from about the Olympics, and I was, I'm curious if if these made it onto your list. First were the shooters. The shooters because they had the weird, like the <laughs> they South all got these weird, a others had like weird, like things wear, over their eye, like, like the cut. They're wearing. Yeah. Like, like aviators, but then they also have like a postage stamp, like over their non-dominant eye. <laughs> yeah, it's it's to help them focus on the target, right? But they look like they're out of an, a sci-fi movie or mm-hmm. an anime, mm-hmm. so that caught on. So that like, there's a bunch of like anime posters of all of these shooters, including the Turkish one you were talking about. Um, like it's all of them. Turkish guy didn't use anything. He just looked. He just looked in the direction and shot, and he got silver. So good for him. Well, there's 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 people saying he got silver on purpose because if he got gold, it'd be too obvious. Well, they they do compare him to John Wick. That's true. 
Uh, uh, so that's number one. What's that? That was the one, the first thing that that oh. I, uh, if oh, I was yeah. curious. Oh yeah, go on. What was the other thing? Second thing was um, beach volleyball. I'm curious as to that. which facet of beach volleyball you're going with, but I think I have an idea because we've been friends are, for so long. So people are mildly complaining. Well, I don't know. If it might be this. There's a few things, but this is the one that, that I felt I focused on and I, that I saw more of. People were complaining that in women's beach volleyball that they that they're that it's not fair that men can wear shorts and a, and, a, and, a, and a tank top and women have to wear bikinis. And they're like, that's sexist. And then people would be like, yeah, well, they have a choice. They could wear shorts if they want to. They can wear they can wear tank top like they can wear t-shirts if they want to. They refuse not to because they don't want to get chafed in the sand when they're rolling around in sand. This is the easiest way to to beach volleyball without like irritating their skin. Hmm. So shut up. <laughs> like they're not or, doing it. Or you could have yeah. played the beach volleyball like a Muslim representing country Egypt. that I don't I don't know which one it was. It was Egypt. It was Egypt, Egypt, where they yeah. they beach volleyballed in full on black body suits. Mm -hmm. And I think they may they, have they, even they, had hoods. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm not they, trying to be an asshole or be you know, like I'm trying to be a little funny, but I think they even had hoods. They had their they had their burkas on, yeah. They had, they had that they had the whole headdress on had everything on and they were pictured with italy who was wearing the bikinis and mm -hmm. that's kind of why i got brought up but um yes that was the what that was exactly the thing i was that was so yes you were and it, it, it reminded when i saw it you know and it, i mean all i thought was like it's got to be hot in that because i know how hot everybody was complaining about how hot it was um it was yeah Oh, I forgot to, I almost forgot to, oh, yeah, I, okay, never mind. We'll get to this part in a second. I, I have pictures. Um, so, oh, nice. oh, yeah, I did I did a little bit of homework. Uh, uh, I lost my train of thought, though, because I almost forgot about uh, the It was hot there. It was in, hot. So, like, I, 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 I just couldn't imagine, socks. I couldn't imagine being in a full-ass body, black bodysuit and, and doing the the volleyball. Which reminded me of when the wrestling goes to Saudi Arabia, and they have the ladies wrestle there, and they wrestled in full-on yes. bodysuits as well. And I just think those are indoors. It's got to be hot, and just you'd be sweating in places you didn't know you could sweat from. Air conditioning, I guess. Yeah, I just, God, I hope. Um, but yeah, the the. Let's let's talk about the the Turkish shooter guy because I have a picture. I don't know if you're going to be okay. able to see the picture, but you've seen the picture. You, uh, I mean, you, I, it, I have access to. Yeah. All right, but it lives in your head probably because you've seen it so many times. The the thing about the thing times. about this picture and his cool demeanor that everybody missed. Yes, he's wearing concert earplugs. He looks super relaxed. His hands in his fucking pocket. Nobody's brought that up. That. <laughs> the, the, uh, the, I think, yeah. Well, he he, he looks the most casual. Um, yeah. South Korea did the same thing. They, they had their hands in their, had their pockets? Hand in pocket oh, she... okay. Well, then maybe it's not that remarkable. It was remarkable to me. because. He, well, he... yeah. Again, he's the one, though. No eye gear. No yep. special equipment. You know, and, the ninety percent of the other people had like the face gear, had like all this like extra stuff. He's just like casual. Right? They had they big old earmuff things on. Yeah. This guy is just wearing like intense. I'm. I'm gonna go use the chainsaw out back, honey. And he, they show him. Uh, they did an interview with him and his daughter afterward. Mm, I I I like saw dad. I saw it, but I didn't I didn't uh, unmute the the uh, the video that was playing. I, I I didn't listen to it either. I'm just like, oh, they're making him look like a dad. Like that's cool. Well, yeah. look like a dad. 
you know. Hey, look, if you're like, an, if you were a God. fucking mercenary or an assassin, you would do the same thing. Yeah, they're building his. They're building his identity so that people don't suspect. Uh, he posted a picture <laughs> with his cat. He's clearly a cat dad. Yeah. The caption on the on the picture said, "If anything happens to this cat, we're getting four movies." You, you're, I, I. It's hard. To, I can't. I can't argue that. It's. It's very true. That is. He is. Uh. He. He is definitely. Uh, a star from uh, this Olympics. He, he's definitely up there. Uh, I, I enjoyed um, the fame that not just him, but all the other shooters the, uh, over the last few weeks. Well, you know, um, someone who is clearly a shooter but was not competing in the shooting competition was this unfortunate pole vaulter. Who uh, failed to oh, clear? Okay. That's the first thing. Did you? Did you? Oh, okay. <laughs> did you like what I did there, though? Go on. Um, uh, he failed to clear the bar because his dick is too big. That's <laughs> fucking amazing. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Like yeah. this is—it's been fun. Those are the uh, it has and, been, and, and, and yeah. basically those are the things that I had as well. You know, the things that you brought up are the same things that I had bullet pointed as well, except for the big dick oh, pole vaulter yeah. who clearly didn't need the that, the, that the was, pole to do the vaulting. He just could have used his dick. Yeah. Why did he need, why did he just, why did he just like use himself as like the thing to, to over? Yeah. He could have just let himself go. Yeah. I don't know why he didn't um, just fucking extend funny. his pole vault a little bit by just, you know, using, using his dick to get over. You know, instead of his dick causing him to not go over. Yeah. I've, yeah, no, that is that is hilarious. It is my favorite, one of my favorite stories that happened over the Olympics. Um, um, the, the lady, she, she sent me something earlier, and I, like, I, I got to find it. Um, French Paul Vulture, uh, oh. uh, whatever his name is, gets a $250,000 job offer. Thanks to his viral bulge. And I just replied to her, if, that, if that's all you got to do to make money, then I'm just going to walk around in booty shorts and take Viagra all the time. From an adult, yes. He got he got an offer from an adult website to uh, to for 250000 bucks. So it's probably, um, yeah. Porn probably makes more, probably made more money doing that than he does being an Olympian. Probably, yeah. Olympians don't make that much money, um, but, but yeah, you know, yeah. you know, he's going to be paid in other ways. <laughs> Moving forward, yes. I'm sure. Uh, other, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, they had break dancing for the first time as Wait, an Olympic what? sport. What break dancing the is an fuck? Olympic sport? No, really? Yes, you're joking. Yes. I'm 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 tr I'm truly fucking like, what the fuck right now? It, 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 they don't call it break dance. They call it breaking, but it is break dancing. It oh is a, it is an Olympic sport. So if you if you were to go um, on onto the cock and watch the Olympics on the cock, how would you find break dancing? I I well it, they they just had their first competition I think a couple days ago. Like it, 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 it was late. In, it was late in the Olympics when they were doing the breakdancing stuff. So it didn't happen until. Re okay, I, uh, that's the other thing. But, while while yeah. I'm watching, whatever you told me, I needed to watch on the YouTube's at the beginning of this thing. Uh, oh, Thanksgiving. From, oh yeah, the the uh, Steve Steve, Steve 1989 Thanksgiving. Then uh, at the same time, I'm going to search the cock and see if I can't find breakdancing on the Olympics, on the cock yep. coverage. Yep. But it's, remember, it's called breaking. It's not that's, break dancing. That, that's, fine. that's fine. Uh, I get it. But yeah. I'm just saying, like, it's just an excuse for me to say I mean, a lot. The U.S. breaking team is like, we have a team of break dancers. I'm sure we do. <laughs> do they do they bust out with the uh, cardboard and they actually, you know, upgrade to like a real dance mat? No, or some sort? they. 
they do it they do it on the i think they do it on the gymnastic mats <laughs> i think those are the i think it's the gymnastic but okay. um i'll, I'll look it i'll yeah. look it up so go check it out it might be under the the rhythm uh, rhythmic uh gymnastics category no because it's its own category it's okay its own thing okay okay because i saw the I category with the considered... with the girl with the rib the, the stick with the ribbon on the end of it and i was like oh, okay um, i'm definitely not watching any of that yeah that that's 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 rhythm gymnastics yeah um and then lastly uh olympics related the only last thing i know about olympics related uh, that got people both happy and upset mm. was um excuse me <clears throat> I think it was a Chinese gymnast, maybe, uh, got gold, and her fiance, who's also a gymnast, proposed to her at the Olympics. I did see that. That was that was cute. That was cute. That was very nice. Uh, um, but I found that like wow. Uh, so, and I tried to make a joke out of it, but I couldn't think of anything because I said, "Oh, look, she's going home from the Olympics with two gold." But I'm like, one's a medal and one's a ring, so that doesn't make sense. I'm just like, uh, two gold something. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, double gold. Yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't think of a good gold joke to go with it. But that's your punchline, so I, kind of I guess. Up on the joke. I mean, because it is double yeah. gold. I mean, I we assume it it's gold. a gold ring, but yeah. yeah I, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. There you go. Um, the, the, la the last thing, all the, I, I well, the last thing that you didn't bring up about the Olympics that I will mm. um, go for it. It is amazing to me once again yes. that uh, Snoop D O Double G, the most famous crip, oh yeah, in all of the world, the most famous gang banger, most famous gang member, has completed so much of his life that all he does is side quests now and is like the mascot for the Olympics for the U S basically. And is at almost every event dressing to the part he understands his assignment completely. The one that nobody's talking about though, Francis, and it irritates me a little bit. Flavor Flav is doing the same thing. He went so far as to sponsor the women's polo team, but nobody's talking about it. And he's over there. Really? He's in the pool with the ladies playing water polo. Who'd have thought Flavor Flay could, just, have could the... swim with the clock on his chest and everything? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How does he swim with all that gold on? Um, I... That's a, that's a, <laughs> I'm going to get you sucker reference. Um, you never seen it? No. no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, th those two guys. It's a, and I, I don't, I don't know Flavor's fucking past. If he was, you know, a banker or whatever. I know he's a goofy looking dude, and he was trying to, to guy trying to get him some Bridget Nielsen for a little while. Uh, yes. And then he had a, a TV show that just had a bunch of prostitutes in him, I think. They they may have been, like, entertainers or something, but I'm pretty sure they were just prostitutes. Um, right. And then A&E just paid him to just bang prostitutes for a whole 22-episode season or something like that. Flavor of Love, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was called. Uh, I don't know what the flavor was, but... Flavor of Love? Uh, but, yeah, I think it's awesome that... Uh, those two guys are out there doing it and it sucks that one's getting all the spotlight, but you know, charismatic, you know, Snoop's much more charismatic than flavor is. Let's, let's be real. I mean, look, and Snoop got the torch that shaped you know. like a damn joint. It was, <laughs> it was, it was shaped like a <laughs> fucking pregnant whale joint, but it was still shaped like a joint. I'm sure if Flava got um, the the torch, they would have given him love too. They would have given him some attention. Oh, for sure. But they didn't. They didn't give him the torch. They didn't let him carry the torch. So what are you gonna do? Um, we can complain about it now. I mean, I am. I'm complaining <laughs> with you. 
Worry not. I, I am complaining with you. Because I didn't know. You, this is news to me that Flavor Flav has yeah. any connection. Yeah, you can look it up. I think I, I'm pretty sure it was the women's water polo team. Um, but yeah, while you're looking that up to, to, of- to fact check me or whatever, um, despite the Olympics going on and taking up everybody's attention and, and all the, the ratings for all the other stuff on TV has dropped significantly because everybody's watching the Olympics. But while everybody was watching the Olympics this past weekend, my DVR was smoking of all the recording I had to do because ESPN eight, the Ocho happened this past weekend. Oh, the Ocho. And I love it when they do the Ocho. I have epi- uh, programs from 2020 that I still haven't watched on my DVR. Um, because I'm saving. When are you going to finally watch? Them? I'll get around to it, man. I, everything gets watched, yeah. but you know, I save things for like when you're sick or when you're, when you, right. when you've reached the end of YouTube and you've watched every video on YouTube, it's like, well, I've got these videos over here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but this year's offering of the Ocho wasn't as cool as the ones in the years past. And in, in my humble opinion, uh, I was missing out on cow chip tossing. I enjoyed that. It's weird to watch people throw cow shit, but they're characters, and I like characters. There was no pizza folding, pizza box folding this year. No juggling dodgeball. Because yeah. they they fired all the pizza box make the pizza delivery yeah. guys apparently there was the best waiter and waitress competition but it was on espn three which i don't know what 13 is in fucking spanish but it's a 13 well it's eight plus three right eight, nine, 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 uh, oh, 11. eight plus three is 11 yeah 11 i don't know what 11 is i don't know it doesn't matter i don't know what 13 or 11 is in spanish so it doesn't fucking matter the math isn't my strong point you want to talk about you know ounces and eighths and quarters and shit i can talk to you about that uh yeah but yeah so i missed out on some of the some of the more fun things that i've seen in the past um like i said juggling dodgeball jugglers versus dodgeball throwers the Chaos and injuries ensue. It's amazing. Um, River rock throwing. I haven't watched that one yet. That was how many skips? How many rock? How many skips can you get with a rock? So, okay. So somebody posted on Twitter. I don't know if it was a part of anything, of like the longest skip throw. Yeah. Was that part of it? it was, I mean, it was long. It, like it kept going. I'm sure the one thing. that's that's been out for years is a fairly old video, but like a darker skinned dude. I don't know what nationality he is, but he's not white and skipping a rock in a big ass lake. And it goes like 120 something odd skips or something like that. It was long. I, I just kept going and I'm like, oh, but then you mentioned it's like a thing on ESPN. I'm like. I just yeah. see an ESPN thing. I don't the, know. The thing, the thing about the Ocho is is just fun because just like in the movie, their version of uh, what mm-hmm. the movie, there is no movie of ESPN 8, Dodgeball the movie, they say that it's being televised on ESPN 8, well, I knew what you the meant. Ocho. <laughs> and their tagline was, if it's barely a sport, we'll televise it. The popularity of right. the movie is what drove send it at the top of the, the food chain, Mickey Mouse, to be like, oh, I can't do Mickey's voice. <laughs> My throat's too fucked up. Um, but, you know, make make the thing from the movie real. Ha ha. And then they did it. And they've been doing it since Dodgeball came out. And they used to do it a couple times a year. Now they just do it in the summer for a weekend. Where it used to be like a whole week. Even when the Olympics aren't on, right? Yes. Like it's even it's every... every End of July, middle of July, or beginning of August is when they do it. And yeah, 
I, I look forward to it just because it's it's stupid stuff. The production value sucks. Like, it's barely held together as a fucking half hour television show, but you watch it because it's on ESPN eight, the Ocho. Well, uh, I think you're going to have to make your um, semi-regular visit to California in the next Olympics because it's going to be in L.A. Oh, yeah. I'll totally be able to afford that. I mean, it's four years from now. Yeah. 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 You might be able to afford it four years, four years from now. Maybe. L.A., four, huh? year, four years. Four, four years. years. It's going to be in L.A. It's not as much, yeah, as much fun to say as 10 years. But you didn't like that movie either, so. Hold on, I'll look it up. I think it's 2020 Olympics are in Los Angeles. Um, are they gonna? It'd be cool. Now, the only thing that's cool, I didn't know this, but now as I'm as I'm hearing it, what would be really cool is if they utilize the fucking Coliseum. I mean, it is the Olympic Coliseum still. Like it's. It's it's it still has. That, it was I don't built think they did anything for the last time the Olympics were in L.A. Yeah. Uh, it looks like. Um, it will be. It doesn't say where. It keeps. Oh, it will be at the. Well, it'll be eight it years be. from now, because the Winter yeah. Olympics is next. Wait, no, it's every two years we get Olympics when, now. Two, when yeah, in two years was winter. So yeah. in twenty twenty eight, it's called L.A. twenty eight. Um. And they show a picture of the Coliseum, so it looks like that the oh, good. LA Coliseum will be where they'll be holding at least some of Something. Those, the the, yeah. the track and field stuff at least. The the, the off road racing will be held at the Olymp at the, at the uh, Olympic Stadium. Well, apparently there was a surfing. There was uh, Olympic surfing thing. <laughs> the only thing that like it made it. Or... Yeah, the only thing that made it tied to fucking Paris is that it was the French. Polynesian islands. Oh, that's right. Yeah, French Poly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't in France. It was like it was yeah. in Tahiti. It was a French France. I think it has Tahiti, but I it mean, has like, water. I, well, yeah. <laughs> what France? France has, wa France has water. France has. Ocean. Oh yeah. Speaking actually of water, I, I almost fucking forgot. Um, so uh, after after fucking swimming in the river. For the river, was it the, the triathlons or decathlon events, whatever they are? And people people oh, were getting yeah. out of the, the river and saying how disgusting the water was. And it, apparently one dude sure. threw up. He got out of the water and threw up on live television. He did. Yeah. I remember that. Now, I'm not yeah. saying anything, but I'm not saying this is or isn't a, a, a athlete from from the Olympic, you know, river stuff. But, you know. It might be. I'm just going to go ahead and yeah, yeah. take this picture away now. As my joke didn't really work. <laughs> I tried. I mean, it's Swamp Thing, whatever, right? Like, I don't oh. know what that is. No, I still think the picture I picked is better. Okay. Uh, since you didn't get to Versus see it. Versus Swamp Thing? No. It, you remember RoboCop? The original RoboCop? I saw the picture. I just saw the, I saw the picture. Oh, you did? Okay, I didn't know if you saw it or not. Okay. Yeah. That's why I said Swamp Thing, because I'm like... It kind yeah, of Swamp Thing would have worked as well. But Swamp Thing... Yeah. Yeah, I guess Swamp Thing could have worked. Yeah. Either way. Um, one, okay, here's the, the fucking fluff thing at the end of the fucking episode, because it's, it's time. It's time, okay. Francis. Uh, I, I saw an article. I didn't read it, so... Whatever. That's why it's the fluff piece at the end of the thing. Um, but more and more companies are dropping marijuana testing uh, because more and more states are becoming legal. But also, it's kind of hard to find anybody over the age of 12 that doesn't smoke weed in this country. I mean, I guess. Yeah. Just saying. I, I'm all well, for it. it. There, if you live in a legal state where marijuana is legal, no company should be, t unless you drive for that company or handle right. weapons for that company, they shouldn't be testing for marijuana. If they want to test something, oh, they should yeah. be testing their fucking employees at the door, giving them breathalyzers. Because I've worked 
and a number of places where people show up still drunk from the night before or drink on the job. But something to. But the, fire me. Action. I've never been fired for it. But, you know, fire me because if I want to go out and smoke a joint during my lunch. Mm. <laughs> and then come back in and I'm, handle I'm, money good, for though. your company. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's become so normalized. It's like saying you're, even though smoking is like regular smoking is um, frowned upon. Yes. It's not illegal. So, like. Yeah, well, that's good, and hopefully that then pushes that whole re-scheduling of of, mm -hmm. of marijuana that it it stops becoming like a an offense, like a like a arrestable offense mm -hmm. to have it or whatever. Uh, when, so. when they when they decriminalized here, I mean, it was, I mean, I was smart enough about handling marijuana and transporting marijuana from you know shady places you bought it from that didn't. You know, I was like, oh, hey, that's great. Anything under an ounce, no big deal. Mm -hmm. We're just going to say, just go home. As long as that, that uh, just under an ounce isn't broken up into multiple bags, you should be fine. <laughs> but, uh, well, I, think I mean, the same thing in like, California. Like, it's, I mean, it's not only legal, it's decriminalized. And it's, I mean, it's, I guess if it's legal, it is decriminalized. But you know what I'm saying? You can, yeah. Hey, when the, I, mean, I don't know what the limits are if there even is any in California. Uh, not that I've ever had to worry about that, but yeah, it's an ounce here. How an ounce is regulated, an ounce of flour is just that. But if you have nine one gram cartridges in your pocket, you're over the limit. Oh, yeah, okay. Seeing that doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Because that's no. 28 grams of flour. If I have nine one gram cartridges in my pocket, that's nine grams. How is that more than the 28 grams of flour? Hmm? See? Makes you think. It does make you think. <laughs> because when I first got into hey, the, the second place I worked at, and I was literally mm -hmm. selling 70, 70 containers of a product to somebody who was taking it out of the state, clearly taking it out of the state. Mm -hmm. Like, well, but we're not breaking the law because we are selling no more than 7,000 milligrams of a product. Shru I don't, that's, this is all your expertise. Man. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, just, I just shrug. The, you know, I just, I just thought it was funny to, to include at the end that, uh, but they're starting to drop it because you shouldn't even be testing it for the to begin with, really. Yeah, no. That again, I I think that's great, good on them. Um. Yeah, like I said, it's normalized enough already. You know, it really is. In fact, one of our mutual friends today, Francis, messaged me and it was asking about uh, getting into the industry in the state that they live in, and what kind of info. Uh, they can go into it with and what I can what advice and tips I can give I'll tell you when we're done oh okay uh, but uh, Francis where can people find you if they want to find you on the internet oh yeah hey at AK the other guy go to sincerestarcasm.net the uh, whenever you hear this hopefully I think it's going to be a week from now you'll have at least a couple days left to buy the kickstarter book um, for the fairy tales anthology that I wrote for. So go ahead and check that out at sincerestarcasm.net. The link is right, the first link at the top. That's to get you to the Kickstarter. Send me the link so I can put it into the description. So I can say it, it's in the description down below. Um, I'll put it in the, the notes for posting. Uh, but you can find me at 303 underscore ninja on the Twitter, 303 ninja on the Instagram. You can call, text, voicemail at 314-764-7631. It spells out POI Pod 1 because at one time there was synergy. There isn't anything going forward, though. You can email us at thepoipodcast at gmail.com. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, YouTubes, just look up POI Podcast. You can listen to us everywhere. I think it's the POI Podcast. 
I don't know. I gotta look. I gotta just find it all and just list it. But find us. Listen to us. Have fun. We'll be here next week probably. I don't have my schedule yet. But once I do, we'll have an idea. Maybe it'll be about the same time. Maybe it'll be on the same day but later. Why is that showing up? Um, oh, because you sent me the oh, thing. Oh, I sent you the link. <laughs> I'm like, what is that showing up on the screen? <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, but uh, yeah, we're, we're out of here. We'll see you next time. We'll let you know when we know when we'll be back for another hour of bullshit and having fun. Because that's what this is all about. I'm, I'm yeah. just stretching things out because the music is, is still playing. But we're out of here. Uh, bye. Bye.